Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this Easter DIY phone case. For this one, we're going to be needing a phone case. I'm using a transparent one that is flexible. You can start off with a white phone case. It's pretty much up to you. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, paint it. And I'm using my white acrylic paint and a brush. I'm going to be covering the whole thing in white, giving this a few coats until it's really opaque enough so I can move on to the next step. And this is pretty much how I let it dry. I place it over an acrylic paint bottle. So once it's dry, I'm going to be taking my black acrylic paint and a dotting tool. You can use a bucket of a brush as well, but I'm going to add two dots. Those are the eyes of my bunny. Then I'm going to be taking my Sharpie. I'm working with the finest tip. I'm going to be actually adding the face itself, first the whisks, and then I'm going to add the ears. Now, the ears are kind of tricky, and what I did here is practice before on a piece of paper because that is going to be like what's going to call most attention of your bunny. It's pretty easy to make mistakes and all that stuff. Once I'm sure what shape I want to go for, I'm just going to draw them with my Sharpie going up and down. Then I'm just going to add the nose and the mouth. My niece said that she doesn't like this part, but if you want, you can do something else. And then I'm just going to be working on details that I'm going to be adding. I'm going to be making a purple mixing pink, purple and white. I'm going in with a small brush and I'm just basically adding that on like the center of my ears. You can obviously make it you know as funky as you want or just add some other color or you, if you don't want to add anything at all it's pretty much up to you. I'm just going to add more details and I'm adding the carrots and I'm just going to go with my acrylic paint and my orange. I found out towards the end that I added way too many carrots. Those ones in the middle, for instance, I wouldn't go for them because I feel like those are just way too much. And maybe keep the part of the face a bit cleaner. Then I'm going to add the green part of the carrots and this is what I did. Once the carrots are dry and I give them two coats, I'm going in with the uh, Sharpie and I'm adding details to just make it a bit more interesting and to add more depth maybe. These are supposed to be like cartoonish looking carrots, so nothing really perfect. So I'm just going to go and add the final touches. For that I'm using this gloss sealer in spray form and this is how I add it. Not only does it help my design to last longer, it makes my phone case look a bit more professional because of the shine and the final coat. It adds. So yeah, I'm just going to let it dry for overnight or 24 hours. I'm just going in and add a piece of paper between my phone and the case. I just like to uh, make sure that nothing damages the back of my phone. But that's pretty much personal preference. This is pretty much what it looks like. And hey you guys, I have decided to finally show you my face. This is what I look like. Just kidding. Maybe one day guys, maybe one day I will show you my face. But until then, just don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Helps a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Visit cutesimplesapp.com. Happy Easter guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.